drone. Hello, and welcome to Painting with John. <laughs> Bob Ross was wrong. Everybody can't paint. It's not true. So I'm still searching for my inner adult. <laughs> it was about a job or something. I was six, five, you know, so I don't really know why. But the amazing thing was my parents did not scold him. But they weren't mad at him. On the refrigerator, upside, <laughs> upside. Why was it upside down? John, because oh. the front of our fridge. Yeah. Is this is my backyard. I will use it, somebody's laugh to gauge if I trust them or not. I, I don't trust somebody until I hear their laugh. And in the expensive restaurants in New York, you hear these cackles that come from way up in the throat, the neck up. And I'm going to give you another chance. Here's a beautiful sunset. Now write a poem. I'm really excited. I got a new drone. Now I can shoot the beginning of my show. This show would be. So I will teach you things I learned from life as I go, if you'd like. And um, it was seven o'clock in the morning. So I open the oven, I'm gonna, gonna reheat the, the shrimp curry. And I don't think about the fact that the gas has been off for the last 20 years. It's that thing, you know, when you're in a car accident and you fall down a flight of stairs and you're, just like, you're not sure if your you're shorts hurt are on not. fire, so I take them off. They're not really on fire, they're crackling, you know, and um, traumatic you know, experience. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like kind of wobbling all around and I'm naked. And my like, car, oh. and you roll it down the hill like this. Slow down to 65 and then speed back up again. So we all slow down and there's this cop and we see him on the side of the road. Oh, next thing I know, we get off and it's like the whole exit lane is filled and nobody's moving. So finally get out of the car. But officer, there's a fire. <laughs> And he says, okay, go ahead. If, you, if, if, if you're not awake, you cannot feel or know what is going on. Yes. So, how are you going to feel the love if you didn't wake? If, you, if, if, if you're not awake. Holy fuck. Barry White knows my music. I, it really made me happy. Barry White knows my music. so artificial, like I'm a warm and friendly person talking into a camera. It's just... <coughs> Morning, maybe my mom would make breakfast. I presume she was still paying the dental bills because Evan had had this mouth and surgery. Coltrane's train's going to come in. You know, da, do, 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 do. And you think, oh, oh, Evan, and my Evan is just laughing and he keeps going. Three times. That's going to be the cover. And flowers, maybe, on the side. And it takes me outside. And then he turns around and walks in. He says, goodbye. She's got these now tanks fucking aerated tanks with carp in them. But as she moves the carp out live, and, but as she moves the we, and we got to get this done and sent off to Germany before the record comes out, or else my face is going to come out like this. 
and the eels, and so I grabbed the eel by, by the gills on the ground in the curb, like he's fallen four flights after being strangled. away with with uh, with an expression oh, that's older and frail now and and he's struggling with this enormous suitcase all and, and he doesn't been get dead a few years but I'd like to take this opportunity to say for three hours in a broom closet at a nightclub. The image of that sticks with me. It was, it was painful. It was like a Rupert Pupkin kind of, you know, that scene. You can't undo fame. Really, it, it took me forever. Why am I doing this show? In fact, if you're watching it, do me a favor and just turn it off. <laughs> yeah. I know, but I mean, then somebody comes by and you just want. You run around with plates because they have these big, heavy plates, and uh, and everybody looks over at us with scowls on their faces. That rejects water, like. It's just treated with something so that you dry yourself after a shower. One last thing. Hey, Bird. Can you see him? Eric, you yeah. could answer me. Just go outside. Outside. You come down. This guy, Leroy, I wasn't really well enough. So hard. It was just like you would look at him and your mouth would fall open. Like, like this old guy going, down going this up. bumpy, bumpy road. But we'd go there and buy fish. And one day he was gone. And then he was never there again. People so we didn't people like, people. like my evil landlady, Plains to see if she would have said, this is no good, not enough spice. And uh, oil done is this. I mean, they take every carbohydrate in the world, like breadfruit. Okay, and I go and I put on one of my two pairs of pants and the driver's license he's just like that's it you know it's like and the next thing I know he must have pushed a button under his desk or something but there's two yeah and I just laughed I mean she had no idea I was so proud of her all night all night all night oh I missed you all night a little herd of goats in the garden and if he put on something really horrible, I would make him change the channel. Rudolph disappeared. And he had been talking about this property he had up somewhere. One remained. A lot. So maybe they drink their rum. That would been a good thing. That's his house. Got it. Each other. But it, if you kind of try to go along with it, it always drifts off if you just like try to sing along for it. And I, and I, 
I, because I, I'm ill, I mean, so what we do is, I, th there was this kid, and so I need him to give me a little something when I'm finished where I become even more insecure than I was. Expensive. You don't need a, just a little tiny pad, but get decent paper. And I had paints and stuff, and so I would mess around, but I was only doing it for me. Now look at each other and, and do whatever you want. Do you mind telling the people at home what a good and fair boss I am? Look at him, Mom. He's adorable. And look, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 